Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make millions of silver per hour in Albion Online. So I'm in Carleon right now checking some prices of items. Uh, I just found something uh, within maybe five minutes or so because I was able to look over here at, um, not Bridgewatch, at Martlock and look what's around Martlock, right? So you can tell that there's just a lot of woods and you're going to know that they're going to have like Pretty much an overstock of logs. Uh, I'm trying to talk here, struggling a little bit. But we are going to have an overstock of logs at Martlock. And that's kind of obvious based on the landscape around it. And I'm sure this is the same uh, kind of deal uh, around elsewhere. So if you go to Limhurst, you're probably going to have an overstock of logs as well there in the auction house. You're going to be able to get them a little bit cheaper. So when I was doing this, uh, when I, was th I saw this and, you know, thought of the idea, I looked at Marlock, saw that, you know, the logs are going to be a little bit less expensive there. So I went up to Carleon's Marketplace and I saw what the logs were selling for here. Um, so basically the logs are selling for uh, 7.1 sun for 2,393 at the lowest. And the regular logs are selling for 2,149 at the lowest. And I did look at how many of these were bought in the last five hours and it's, been pretty successful like a lot of people have been buying them and I'm gonna go take um, pretty much a loan out on this right here because I got 14 mil to spend we're gonna go over to Martlock real quick I am naked running around and that is because that is the only way to travel back between cities and so we're gonna travel to Martlock and um, we're going to head on down to the auction house I'm just kinda showing you guys how I make a lot of money um, kind of flipping uh, trades a little bit or kind of running things back and forth. I think this is a known um, by now by everybody. This is kind of a known way to make a lot of money. It's a definitely one big money-making guide for sure for a lot of you guys. And I'm going to kind of show you guys um, what the prices are here for 7.1 logs. It's actually insane. Um, so basically it's a 1000 cheaper at the very least. And then you can look at the 7.1s even. Uh, a lot cheaper again. Like I said, this is going to be an insane haul here. I'm going to buy as much as I can without going um, over over uh, budget and overweight. So we're going to take a look at what kind of bag we want to bring. Uh, the bag and the uh, mount and everything is going to resell. So I'm going to go with a safe, um, non-dying build. And I'm going to go with a T8 bag. Uh, just because I'm not really too worried about the situation, I'm going to go with all stuff that's going to keep me alive. And now once you guys are done buying your uh, gear to stay alive, you are now at Martlock, right? So let's see, the best route you're going to want to take is probably going to be through Elden Hill. Remember, Yellow Zones, you cannot die. Well, you can die. You just won't lose your stuff. So going through Elden Hill, first off, is just very, very safe. You actually won't lose any gear uh, if you die, you won't lose your, um, you know, the logs that I'm carrying. I won't lose them. So I'm going to go through Elden Hill. Then I'm going to go through Gutcher's Hill, which is a red zone, and you can die. So you got to be careful here when going through Gutcher's Hill. Um, but I will go Elden Hill, Gutcher's Hill, then Mardale. And for those of you who do not know uh, what this little dotted line is, uh, for future reference, that is called the Underway. It brings you to Carleon, and you're going to want to use that path. So once you get to Mardale... Find the green dot on um, on your map. Press N. Find the green dot. You're going to want to run straight to this. The Carleon Underground Entrance. You're going to want to travel to the ancient underground uh, catacombs of Carleon. And you're going to be in Carleon pretty much then. You're just going to want to run to obviously the middle and enter into the actual Carleon to be completely safe. And now I'm going to skip ahead and show you guys the profits. All right, guys, so I sold 999 T7 logs for about 800 silver per log. This added up to about 779,200 silver. And then I went around and sold 499 T7.1 logs at 500 silver per log. This added up to be about 249,500 silver. So I ended up profiting 1,028,700 silver in less than 20 minutes of work. Let me know in the comments below how you guys make your money in Albion Online, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to hit that sub button below.